Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on the ground floor of a historic revolution? Witnessing the birth of a new era in space exploration? Well, buckle up, space cadets, because that's exactly what's happening right now down in Starbase, Texas. SpaceX is on the move, pushing the boundaries of what's possible with Starship, their next-generation behemoth designed to take humanity to Mars and beyond. But the road to the red planet isn't paved with smooth concrete. There are bound to be bumps, unexpected detours, and maybe even a few fiery explosions along the way. Today, we're going to peel back the curtain and take a deep dive into the latest developments at Starbase. We'll explore the aftermath of Starship's dramatic Flight 7, investigate the challenges of catching a giant rocket with chopsticks, and get a glimpse of the future with the construction of the colossal Block 2 booster. So if you're ready for a thrilling ride through the ever-evolving world of Starship, then stay tuned. The Elon Musk 24-hour channel is here to take you on an unforgettable journey. Let's dive right in. The dust from Starship's explosive Flight 7 has barely settled, yet the echoes of its thunder still reverberate through the Texas sky. The world watched in awe, then in apprehension, as the mighty rocket veered off course, painting the azure canvas with a fiery, unplanned ballet. While the immediate spectacle has faded, the aftershocks continue to ripple through the SpaceX ecosystem. The investigation into the mishap is underway, a meticulous dissection of every component, every sensor reading, every fleeting moment captured on camera. The FAA, with the weight of public scrutiny upon them, is meticulously examining every piece of debris, every report, every whisper of concern. The pressure is immense. A single misstep could derail months, even years of progress. But amidst the somber introspection, a different rhythm is emerging at Starbase. A rhythm of relentless progress, a symphony of steel and sweat, as SpaceX engineers and technicians tirelessly rebuild, refine, and reimagine. The launch pad, scarred from the previous launch, is undergoing a dramatic transformation. Concrete is being poured, steel beams erected, and a sense of urgency permeates the air. Pad B, the newcomer on the scene, is stealing the spotlight. Its ascent has been meteoric, a testament to the sheer ambition and unwavering dedication of the SpaceX workforce. The towering steel structure, once a skeletal frame, is now taking shape, adorned with the intricate machinery that will soon cradle and launch the mightiest rocket ever conceived. The chopsticks, those elegant robotic arms destined to catch the returning booster, are finally arriving on site. Each component, a marvel of engineering, is meticulously transported, assembled, and integrated into the growing structure. The anticipation is palpable. Will these mechanical marvels succeed where previous attempts have faltered? Will they gracefully capture the thundering booster as it descends from the heavens? Or will they once again grapple with the unpredictable forces of gravity and aerodynamics? SpaceX, ever the pragmatist, is learning from every setback, every near miss. They are meticulously analyzing the data, identifying weaknesses, and implementing innovative solutions. The shorter chopsticks, designed for enhanced precision and reduced inertia, are a testament to this iterative process. A bold move, perhaps, but a calculated risk, born from the hard-won lessons of past failures. While the world focuses on the spectacle of launch and landing, SpaceX is quietly revolutionizing the very foundations of spaceflight. They are pushing the boundaries of material science, developing new alloys and composites that can withstand the immense stresses of re-entry. They are refining their propulsion systems, unlocking the secrets of methane and oxygen, the fuel that will propel humanity to the stars. But the challenges are immense. The sheer scale of Starship, its unprecedented power, demands a level of precision and reliability never before achieved in rocketry. Every component, every system, must function flawlessly, in perfect harmony, to ensure a successful mission. The pressure is mounting, not just from the competitive landscape, but from the weight of human ambition. Elon Musk, the visionary behind this audacious endeavor, has painted a picture of a future where humanity is a multi-planetary species, where Mars is not just a distant dream, but a tangible destination. This is not just a race against other companies, but a race against time itself. 
the window of opportunity, the delicate balance of Earth's resources, the ever-present threat of unforeseen catastrophes. These are the realities that fuel the urgency of this mission. The fate of Starship, and perhaps the fate of humanity itself, hangs in the balance. Will this audacious gamble pay off? Will we witness the dawn of a new era of space exploration, where the stars are no longer distant beacons, but attainable goals? The answer, like the trajectory of Starship itself, remains uncertain. But one thing is certain, the journey is just beginning. The roar of the engines, a symphony of power and ambition, is still a distant echo. But the tremors it sends through the very fabric of space exploration are undeniable. Starship, this audacious gamble, this monument to human ingenuity, is not just a rocket. It's a portal to the future, a vessel of hope, a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream big. This is not just a story about metal and fire. It's a story about the human spirit, the relentless pursuit of knowledge, the unwavering belief in a future beyond our own pale blue dot. So what's next? What incredible feats will SpaceX and humanity itself achieve in the years to come? Will we witness the first human footsteps on Mars? Will we build a thriving civilization among the stars? The answers lie in the hands of those who dare to dream, to innovate, to challenge the very boundaries of human possibility. And you, the viewers, are an integral part of this journey. Your curiosity fuels our exploration. Your support empowers us to continue pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So, join the conversation, share your thoughts, your questions, your hopes for the future in the comments below. And if you're inspired by this incredible story, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the Elon Musk 24-hour channel for more updates, more insights, and more breathtaking moments in the ongoing saga of space exploration. Together, we can witness the birth of a new era, an era where the stars are no longer just distant dreams, but attainable destinations. The New Glenn rocket is a two-stage rocket developed by Blue Origin, the space exploration company founded by Jeff Bezos. It is designed to carry up to 10 metric tons of payload to orbit and is the largest and most powerful rocket currently under development. On January 16, 2025, the New Glenn rocket made its first successful test flight, reaching a maximum altitude of 35 kilometers. However, the rocket's booster stage failed to land safely and was lost at sea. Blue Origin has not yet released the cause of the booster failure, but they are investigating the incident. In the meantime, the company has announced that they will continue to develop the new Glenn rocket and that they are confident that they can make it a safe and reliable launch vehicle. The new Glenn rocket is an important milestone in the development of commercial spaceflight. If it can be made to work reliably, it will provide a much needed boost to the space industry and could help to make space travel more affordable and accessible. In this video, we will take a look at the New Glenn rocket and its first test flight. We will also discuss the challenges that Blue Origin faces in making the rocket a success. Let's dive right in. January 16, 2025. The Florida coast trembled under the roar of the New Glenn rocket as it erupted from the launch pad, a titan of steel and fire ascending towards the heavens. The world watched with bated breath a collective gasp escaping as the behemoth pierced through the clouds, a silver streak against the azure canvas of the sky. Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' ambitious venture into space, had finally unleashed its masterpiece. But the euphoria was short-lived. As the new Glenn arced gracefully towards orbit, a chilling silence descended upon the control room. Communication with the booster stage, the heart of the rocket, abruptly ceased. The cheers turned to anxious whispers, the air thick with a sense of dread. Had they lost it? Had all their years of toil, their dreams of lunar colonies and spacefaring civilizations, vanished in a puff of smoke? The hours that followed were an agonizing blur of uncertainty. Engineers huddled around screens, poring over telemetry data, searching for any sign, any flicker of hope. The silence was deafening a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of space exploration. Was it a catastrophic failure? A design flaw? 
or simply an unfortunate anomaly. The world held its breath, waiting for answers. Blue Origin, true to their nature, remained tight-lipped. The silence was deliberate, a calculated move to gather all the facts before making any pronouncements. But the whispers continued to swirl, fueled by speculation and anxiety. Days turned into weeks. The initial shock gave way to a grim determination. The engineers, fueled by a potent mix of grief and resolve, embarked on a meticulous investigation. They combed through every line of code, analyzed every sensor reading, and pieced together the fragments of the lost signal. Slowly, painstakingly, the pieces of the puzzle began to emerge. The first clue, the faint, pale hue of the booster's engines during the re-entry burn. This subtle anomaly, easily overlooked by the casual observer, hinted at a potential problem with the fuel mixture. Was there a leak, a blockage, or perhaps a miscalculation in the fuel flow? The second clue, the shortened duration of the re-entry burn. This suggested a premature shutdown of the engines, further supporting the theory of a fuel-related issue. But what could have caused such a disruption? Then there was the flip maneuver. This dramatic maneuver, a ballet of physics and engineering, was crucial for a successful re-entry. But it also carried inherent risks. The intense forces involved could potentially damage internal components, disrupt fuel lines, or even cause a misalignment of critical systems. Could this be the culprit? The investigation continued, each new piece of evidence adding another layer of complexity to the mystery. The engineers, driven by a relentless pursuit of truth, meticulously examined every possible scenario, every conceivable failure point. The pressure was immense, the stakes incredibly high, the future of Blue Origin, and perhaps even the future of human space exploration, hung in the balance. But the loss of the new Glenn booster was more than just a setback for the company. It was a blow to the dreams and aspirations of countless individuals who had poured their hearts and souls into this ambitious project. Years of tireless work, of sleepless nights and unwavering dedication seemed to have vanished in an instant. The engineers, the technicians, the scientists, they were not just employees. They were pioneers, explorers, pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity. They had invested not just their time and talent, but their very beings into this endeavor. The loss of the booster was a personal tragedy, a painful reminder of the inherent risks of pushing the limits of human endeavor. Yet amidst the grief and disappointment, a flicker of hope remained. The new Glenn, despite its tragic fate, had demonstrated remarkable capabilities. It had reached orbit on its maiden flight, a testament to the brilliance and dedication of the Blue Origin team. This was not the end. It was a setback, a painful lesson learned, but it was not a defeat. The engineers, fueled by a renewed sense of purpose, vowed to learn from their mistakes, to analyze the data, and to return stronger than before. The new Glenn, they vowed, would rise again. The investigation continued, and slowly, painfully, the truth began to emerge. It was a complex interplay of factors, a series of unfortunate events that culminated in the loss of the booster. There was no single catastrophic failure, but rather a cascade of smaller issues that ultimately proved insurmountable. The lessons learned were invaluable. The engineers, armed with this newfound knowledge, began the arduous task of redesigning, rebuilding, and refining. They meticulously examined every aspect of the rocket, from the engines to the fuel systems, from the software to the hardware. The road ahead was long and arduous, but the spirit of the team remained unbroken. They were determined to overcome this challenge, to honor the sacrifices made, and to fulfill the promise of the new Glenn. Months turned into years. The scars of the past remained, but they were slowly fading, replaced by a renewed sense of optimism. The new Glenn, reborn from the ashes of its predecessor, was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. It was a testament to the power of perseverance, to the unwavering belief in the future of space exploration. It was a testament to the enduring spirit of human ingenuity. And as the new Glenn, sleek and powerful, once again thundered towards the heavens, the world watched with a mixture of awe and anticipation. This time there would be no silence. This time they would conquer. This story is not just about a rocket, 
It's about the human spirit, about the relentless pursuit of dreams, about the courage to face adversity and emerge stronger. It's a reminder that setbacks are inevitable, that failures are not the end, but rather stepping stones on the path to success. It's a testament to the power of human ingenuity, to the unwavering belief in the future of space